forced into the tank is a solution for one of the biggest issues for babies. Hi, sharks. My name is Tara Williams, and this is my husband, Rob Williams. And I'm here today seeking $100,000 in exchange for 10% equity in my company, Dreamland Baby. Sharks, as a mom of four, I know better than anyone, there isn't a sound in the world worse than a crying baby. <laughs> <laughs> With babies waking up every few hours, the amount of uninterrupted sleep parents get can sometimes feel like bare to none. And that is no way to function through life. But sharks, that's exactly what we were doing. When our son Luke was nearly six months old, he was still waking up every hour and a half. Oh, wow. When I say nobody was sleeping, I mean nobody. Not me. <laughs> Definitely not me, that is, until I created this. Dreamland Baby, a weighted blanket sleep sack designed to help your baby feel calm, fall asleep faster, and stay asleep longer. The gentle weight increases both serotonin and melatonin, naturally reducing stress and increasing relaxation through deep touch stimulation. The first night our son wore his Dreamland baby, he went from waking up every hour and a half to sleeping 12 hours through the entire night. It was an absolute game changer for our family. So who wants to join me and make that dream a reality? Wow. You have samples have in front of you. Oh, okay. Robert and Laurie, you have the size small, which is for zero to six months. And the other three gentlemen have a oh, medium, six whoa. to 12. I'm going yes. to sleep. And yes, Good please night. say goodbye Good so luck, he can guys. get some real sleep rest. Well. Um, so the beads inside, they're called poly pellet beads. So the same thing that's inside of a, a beanie bag. They're little beads of plastic. They're, yes, yes. And they're completely safe. They're non-toxic. They're food grade. So it's a sleep sack with beads. Correct. And why is it better than every other sleep sack I've used? And there are a lot of sleep sacks on the market. There are a and lot I know of sleep sacks. that you have well, seen well, them with the them beads with your kids. too. None, none with beads. I definitely love heavy blankets. Yeah. I sleep much better than when they're thin. I've never yeah. heard yeah. of this. Is there scientific research or it's just obvious to you yeah. and it's just your no, logic? I mean, first, as a mom, what, I would love to share my story if I could. Yes, if I could please. Share Tell us about so you. So the, the invention of Dreamline Baby, it started um, on March 29th. Um, 2018. Uh -huh. Can you be more specific? Uh, well, this is why. That was the day we had a scheduled induction for our son, Luke. Now, the day before, my husband got laid off from his job of 15 years. So that was devastating for us. Two months into my maternity leave, I was also laid off. We were like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do now? We have four kids, five and under. We have no income. Wow. And we have this baby who's relentlessly waking up. There was a day that I was driving in the car and I nearly got in a car accident. I was with my four kids. And I remember pulling over and just tears streaming down my eyes and I was crying, saying, I need a solution. Like, God, please help me. That very night, we had the older kids in bed and we had a heavy throw blanket on our couch. We laid it on top of Luke and I just saw this calm immediately come over his face. A light bulb went off in my head and I thought, he needs a way to blanket. So I thought, yeah. absolutely, there must be one for babies. And I couldn't believe there wasn't. So my mother-in-law sewed our first prototype, and then the first night he wore it, he slept for 12 hours. Wow. We thought, this has got to be a fluke. But next night, 12 hours. It was so immediate. So you that, know this thing's working. That Absolutely. It was just, oh my gosh, okay. So it was a mother's intuition combined with, now there's got to be science behind it. So my background, I come from the medical device space. I've been there over 10 years in oh, sales and market development roles. So I speak and think clinical trials. There had been a clinical trial that was published in October of 2018. So I've actually now partnered with them. And the woman who um, published the study had actually helped me with some early designs. And so we know that it's safe. Good for you. Thank you. Where did you get the money to pay for this? So uh, <laughs> when my husband and I were both laid off, we had no money coming in. It was a desperate situation. But when I was on maternity leave in the state of California, they pay you a stipend for, for being on maternity leave. So I had $14,000. It wasn't in our joint account. It was in this other account. So that's actually the money I used. Don't say that out loud. I know. <laughs> Shh, don't tell you my mean, husband. Your husband uh -huh. didn't that's know you were spending the $14,000? Well, he didn't really know it was there because it was in another <laughs> account. <laughs> so, yes, there was an interest.
interesting conversation when all of a sudden he said, what is this account? <laughs> so essentially, you took the maternity leave money from the company that fired you to start this business, and boom, chakalak, yeah, right? Pretty much, yeah. So is room, I used that first money for the patent pending and then also to get prototypes made. Where are you selling? How much are you selling? Yeah. What do you sell them for? Okay, so year to date, we're at just about thirty thousand dollars. We did Ugh. a. That's not bad. Go ahead. We did a Kickstarter um, the month of June, raised about twenty-five thousand. So of that thirty, twenty-five is from Kickstarter. Kickstarter, and my website has been live for three weeks. How much you sell it for? Seventy-nine dollars. What does it cost you to make? The small is going to be um, thirteen sixty, and the medium is going to be twelve twenty. Cost. Yeah. This is a. This isn't a company yet. It's it's a product. Mm -hmm. You got a world of challenge ahead here. It's a great product that's not investable yet. Go make a model that you can come to an investor like me and say, look, give me a million dollars and I'll get ten million in sales. That's interesting. This is not interesting. I'm sorry, I can't go on the journey with you, Tara. I'm out. All right. I thank you for that. I appreciate it. Tara. Um, you're like an incredible inspiration. You're like Thank why you. America is the amazing country it is. Yeah. Like, you're down with luck. You and your husband both, one after the other, lose your jobs. Get, you turn that around. You turn a crisis into an opportunity, and you're building something really, really compelling. I don't think I'm the right shark to help you here. I think there's people that know far more than I about this space, so for those reasons, I'm out. OK, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, Terry, I mean, the fact that you started when you did. I started my first company after I got fired, you know, and when your back's against the wall, you know, if you have that entrepreneurial spirit, you always find a way. Yeah. And for this product, it's a great niche product, right? I don't see this as being a big enough business for me to invest in. So for those reasons, I'm out, but congratulations. I think it's a phenomenal product. Yeah. And so I, I think you're gonna do just fine. Thank you, I appreciate Congrats. it. Congrats. Listen, one of the most important, but I think wonderful things about our country is one idea can change your life. Yeah. So I feel that you've done everything right, but I know the road you have to toe. Absolutely. Okay. And I believe you can make it, but I know the amount of work that has to go into it, and yep. it's a boatload. But I'm going to make you an offer. My thought is that it might be extremely helpful for you to license this to somebody who is in the business of either manufacturing baby products or in the baby arena. So um, really what I would do is say 100,000, but I would do it for, uh, I'd do it for 25%, but my goal is to find you a licensing deal. I, I, I understand it. I also just want to be fair to Robert. Robert? Well, you know, as Daniel said, I, I love your story. Uh, I love how you've gotten here. I congratulate you. I've been through the crying babies, and now there are these amazing almost toddlers. For me to put up with a crying baby, there's got to be a great return. Right. Your business is at the crying baby stage. I'm not sure the return is big enough right now in the route that you're going. So I'm out. OK, thank you. Laurie, what do you want to do? That is a great offer, but I do have to counter. I'm not liking you as much anymore. So oh, I'm liking you more. I'm liking you more. I would like to counter for the same deal, but at 20% instead of 25. do this deal with me. 20% is huge. That's great. And together, I mean, there's another company, Sleep Sack, that is on track to do $90 million this Tara, year. you must be out of your mind. No, so that could be us. What if we're on track to do $90 million? 20% of $90 million? That's a lot last night. of money. It's a great deal, Lori. <laughs> it's a great deal. I came here offering a discount, and you got double what I'm asking. You're winning. It's a great deal. Let's do this, Lori. Tara, listen. I really did not want to go under my 25%. I thought that was fair. I thought it was good. Um, I will meet you halfway. I will go 22 and a half. Let's do it. Let's okay. do a deal. Yay. Yay. We're going to have sleeping babies. And when we do 90 million in three years, <laughs> We'll send some That's to right. you guys. That's right. Good luck with that. Congratulations, Tara. All right, guys. Thanks, Thank Tara. you. Congratulations. I can't believe I made it to you. I 
feel amazing. Lori is who I came here for, and you know, I have four kids, I have two daughters, and I'm just showing them that they can do anything they want. So, so excited.